Now, uh, what I'm about to say might surprise you, but I'm not a very sexual person. <laughs> it's true. One time I, I got dumped by this girl. She, right before it ended, you know, she was like, Matt, you can be a little bit meaner to me in bed. But I don't think I was being the right kind of mean. I was just like, get on the bed, stupid. <laughs> Do you like that dick? Well, I hate your paintings. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you harder than it is to watch you do improv. <laughs> Here's a little tip, guys. If you're dating someone and you think you're into them, don't go see their improv group, okay? <laughs> You'll be like, yes, and oh, this isn't working. <laughs> I think the hardest part about breaking up is when you catch yourself using little phrases that your ex used to use. Like I was in Walgreens one time and I said to the cashier, I don't love you anymore. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> After that breakup, I got really depressed. Last winter, I, I got this thing called a, a daylight lamp that's supposed to improve your mood. You bring it home, I read the instructions, you gotta look at it for 30 minutes a day just for it to work. You know what's not gonna cheer me up? Penciling into my schedule, time with lamp. <laughs> Sorry guys, can't go get a beer after work. Gotta get home to the lamp. <laughs> and then I thought like, my biggest fear is like, what if I like it? What if I like get a lamp? What then? I'm having so much fun with this appliance. Maybe I'll try an oven. Maybe I'll put my head in an oven. 